Hello dear students today we are going to read a poem The Statue by James Reeves to find out how words and phrases are used to create mental images so this poem is the best example for imagery a poetic device so let's go through The Statue on a stone chair in the marketplace sits a stone gentleman with a stone face he is great he is good he is old as old how many years i have not been told great things he did a great while ago and what they were i don't know but solemn and sad is his great square face as he sits high upon his square stone base day after day he sits just so while some words in a foreign tongue below whether the winds blows warm or cold his stone close altar never a fold one stone hand he rest on his knee with the other stone hand he points at me oh why does he look at me in just that way i am afraid to go and afraid to stay stone gentleman what have you got to say let's look into the hard words from the poem foreign it's an adjective the meaning of this word is from a country other than your own all right gentleman used to refer to a man with good manners or high social status gentleman is a noun statue a metal or stone figure of a person or animal solemn adjective meaning serious or not happy the poem really describes his statue in the marketplace though the poet doesn't use the word statue throughout the poem we know he is describing a statue after reading the poem isn't it the poet described the statue's face hands expression posture clothes actions age and the character traits so he used vivid adjectives to describe all these elements the summary of the poem the statue the statue by james reeves is a very short poem where the poet comes across a statue made of stone in a marketplace it is an old statue and the poet doesn't know for how long it has been sitting there the square shaped face looks sad and solemn to the wandering poet he doesn't even know what were the good deeds done by the man of the statue he is very curious and sees that whether the wind is warm or cold the stony clothes of the statue doesn't stir a bit he cannot leave the stone gentleman alone or stay there to watch him the poet wonders what the statue has to say to him 